The 20-year-old was seen in good spirits after revealing her brain tumor diagnosis on Good Morning America earlier this year. Isabella shared a new Instagram story that showed her running around an open yard while wearing a matching sweatshirt and sweatpants. She had her hood placed over her head in the snap taken from an undisclosed location. While the video was shot from afar, Michael's daughter had a big smile on her face as she turned toward the camera and lifted her arms straight in the air. Happy and young, she wished her followers in text over the clip. Isabella first questioned her health in October 2023 while attending the University of Southern California, USC. While speaking on GNNA, she told Robin Roberts that she had been struggling with walking straight and had been experiencing concerning headaches and nausea. As she spoke publicly about her metalloblastoma diagnosis, Michael, 52, talked about how proud he was of Isabella for sharing her story. She's always been strong, and this is something that is so personal that I didn't know that it would be something that she would want to share. I'm extremely proud, the GMA host said. Since revealing her diagnosis, Isabella's family has flooded her with support. Following Isabella's appearance on GMA, her sister Sophia, 19, opened up about her twin struggles. I'm so lucky to have the most amazing sister and best friend in the world, she wrote on Instagram. The last few months have been so much harder than we could have ever imagined, but it's made me realize just how strong you are. You inspire me and I'm so proud of you. Us forever, she added. Earlier this month, Sophia showed support for her sister by attending Duke University's Shake and Buzz event. The event helped raise money for teens and young adults who are battling cancer at the school's medical center. Sophia appeared in two photos on the organization's Instagram page, showing her helping shave and dye college students' heads. Isabella has also been sharing her journey on social media, particularly on her YouTube channel. In late April, she shared a vlog showcasing her initial journey through chemotherapy. The college student started chemo in February at Duke Children's Hospital and Health Center in North Carolina. Most recently, Isabella uploaded a new video last week that showed her recovering from a third round of chemo. In the less than two-minute video update, Isabella said that she had been feeling better and was just spending most of her time sleeping. Other than that, I've been really bored, not in much pain, she added. She said she only had one more round to go, which was exciting but scary at the same time because she was nervous about going back to normal life. Fans have been calling Isabella an inspiration as she continues to speak openly about her health battle.